Yeah, I don't think it, it changes that. I think everyone's got to just send their horses fit and well to the races, and it's as simple as that. You can look to do, do all the one percenters. Being a steward was a was a good stepping stone and, and learning curve of of learning how jockeys think and also how to learn to read a race. But once it comes down to horsemanship, I think everyone just needs to get the horses fit and well. The other thing is just trying to add value to your client database. If you can. If you're the barn adding the most value, then hopefully the, the owners come and it becomes a little bit of an arms race. The, the trainer that has the best horses in the barn can, can generally get the best, best results if they're doing the, doing the basics well. So that's all, all our focus on is uh, adding value to the clients and if that's the main focus, then we should, uh, we should be right. Obviously, I've sort of, last few seasons, have sort of built up a bit of a relationship with the Costa team and definitely someone that I like working for. He's, um, as you said, he's a young trainer, he's coming up, but he is very professional. Um, it's a very professional run sort of organisation and on the side of, work, at the workplace, but also away from the workplace, you know, he's very big on the social media and keeps everything updated and I think in today's day, with that's how it's sort of got to be, but he's a very easy bloke to sort of ride for. Um, you know, I enjoy riding for him and he, he doesn't sort of put a lot of pressure on me. He sort of has the faith that I can get the job done and that's what us jockeys like. Playing the way of the world is everyone's attention's on their, on their phone and everyone is expecting more and, and video content's definitely the, definitely the key. So, you know, training, being a trainer now isn't about just getting a horse fit, we have to wear many hats and we're, we're more an entertainment marketing company than we are a training operation. So look, the, I'd love just to pot around the barn and train your own horses, but if uh, if you're just doing that the, the way of the world, you're not gonna get horses in the future. Like I said, in today's day, it is such a big thing. So I think it is very helpful, like for the owners to sort of, without having to come in and see what's going on, they can have an update every week, you know, see what's going on behind the scenes. And also for me, it helps my social media that sort of, you know, I can spread out across my sort of followers that this is what who I ride for and this is how they're going and it definitely helps him and also me. So it's, uh, it's very like satisfying doing it with these cheap sort of horses that makes it all also more enjoyable as well but yeah the stats are up the second year in the running I think we're in the top five in the country for our stats but now we've got to uh, continue to just grow and, and, and build that black type sort of profile. Definitely believe that over the years as he grows he's going to definitely um, sort of make his way up the ranks but you can't fault his training he's definitely doing something right like his strike rate says that and I just think with the size of the team that he's got it's probably why he's not up there. He doesn't have a lot of runners that some of these big sort of trainers have each season, but look, the strike rate says it for itself. Last season he was top five in Australia for strike rate, and look, that's something that you should be very proud of, and I think the next coming seasons he's gonna only get better and better. We left a little bit in the tank for that first up run, and she's really, really has improved, but we're now matching up against the big boys. We've, we've taken care of her thus far, just running her through the grades, and now we come up to a, to a decent race, and. She's probably a mare which has shown that she's going to get over a, a fair bit more ground as well. But uh, blinkers go back on to try and avoid the second up sort of run, a bit of um, her dowering off, but been very happy with this morning's scalp as well. Yeah, she's a little bit of a mighty mouse. She only weighs about 440 kilos, and, but she's tough. So those types of horses, you've got to throw them in the, in the deep end eventually. She's got a very good record, five wins from the eight starts. So, if you, you keep going around the traps, you find yourself in no man's land, and she's definitely earned a, earned a chance at having a, having a throw at stumps. Yeah, I purchased her for 16,000 from the English Classic sale, and she was very hard to sell, to syndicate actually. And 16,000 for a done deal fairly with a good page, everyone thought that there was something wrong with her, and we're pretty much having to give the shares away at some stage, but we ended up getting it done, and it's a very passionate group, and they're having a good ride. We've had to be a little bit patient with her, with a few little hiccups early on, but yeah, she's, uh, she's been a good asset to the stable. Thank you.